It's National Signing Day, but it's never too early to look at next year's top recruits. Here to join me to talk about the class of 2017 is Metro Index Scouting Director Joe Butler. And Joe, when you talk about the class of 2017, there are two names that pop to mind right away. Clareton's Lamont Wade and Steel Valley's Paris Ford. Kevin, Lamont Wade, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the premier defensive backs, corners in the country. Not only in this state, but nationwide. He's really good, he's physical, he's tough. So hard nosed guy, he's got nice size. And Paris Ford, a guy who played as a freshman at Central Catholic, as a sophomore and junior at Seton LaSalle, is now at Steel Valley. He's considered one of the top safeties as well. Exactly. He's one of the top recruits in the country at the safety position. He's got all the Power Five conferences offering him. He's a very long and athletic 6'2", 190-pound safety. And when you look at uh, Central Catholic has just had seven guys sign with Division I schools, they have a couple more, most notably linebacker David Adams. Well, David Adams is a solid inside linebacker, just continually makes plays after play. He's a big, strong guy that can run, and, and I really like him. So Central Catholic's got a good nucleus coming back next year. Well, speaking of the Vikings, they also have a big-time offensive lineman in C.J. Thorpe. C.J. Thorpe is like 6'3", 6'4", 300-pound, tough, hard nose, stays up on his feet, guard probably in college. I really like him, one of the better linemen in, in Pennsylvania. And on the defensive side of the ball, Beaver Falls has another Jeter, the younger brother of Pitt basketball player Sheldon. Donovan Jeter is, is being recru heavily recruited as a defensive lineman. Right, he can rush the passer. He's a big guy with a lot of length, and he moves well, and he's strong. He's going to get better and, and bigger and stronger as he gets into the college game. And, you know, when you talk about those are the most notable recruits, but there's a couple guys that are big, like been high risers in your mind. Uh, let's start on the offense of the ball. Uh, this is a guy who could play wide receiver or safety, outside linebacker even. Uh, Kenny Robinson from University Prep, USO. Yeah, the City League has a legitimate guy here in Kenny Robinson. He's, he's tall. He runs well. He's athletic. He'll get bigger in college. He's going to probably be a, a wide receiver, but potentially – I think he's going to be a linebacker in college. And on the other side of the ball, another Central Catholic guy, defensive lineman Kurt Heinisch. Kurt Heinisch is really coming on right now as a prospect. He's getting all kind of offers. He's a tough, hard nose, like a Chris Hoke type nose guard, D tackle. I really like his upside. He has a great future in football. Joe, nobody follows the WPL when it comes to recruiting like you do. What do you think of this class of 2017 that's coming up? The top end of the class is excellent. You have a lot of national recruits. You have a lot of athletic guys that could really develop. And, and, and the other level of players is getting better. we got to look at them this spring and summer at the summer camps. But I think it's going to be a really good year in, for the class of 2017.